How's it going everyone? Darren here, aka Dr. Dev, and welcome to today's video. It is currently Saturday morning, and although I am overwhelmed with knee pain at the moment, I decided I'd better get cracking on this game. So in today's video, we're gonna look at a rough sort of planning phase for the game to come. Now, I decided a few days ago that I was gonna commit to some sort of RPG-style dungeon crawler game. I'm thinking that it's gonna be a 2D game, with aspects that are typical to an RPG, such as classes, levels, stats and itemization, but with gameplay that is a bit more typical to a dungeon crawler game in that it will be a one run kind of playthrough. You'll always start at the first floor of the first map and simply try to complete the game by crawling through various levels, defeating various enemies and bosses and overcoming any and all obstacles along the way. And I don't actually have any decent storyline in mind at the moment, but I do have some gameplay mechanics that I want to plan out and just get written down somewhere. So with that in mind, I'm going to use as or DevOps to house all of my source code and task planning items. But before we do that, I need to get some breakfast in me. So I think it's time to go make some uh, bulletproof coffee. So now that breakfast has been dealt with, it's time to get to business. I decided to start by creating some very high level items that briefly summarize a specific piece of functionality that will need to go into this game. For example, I knew that I was going to need a player character, an enemy, some kind of map that we can play on and a way to engage in combat with each other. Now I know these kind of things seem so simple and you're probably wondering why even bother writing them all down like this? Well, the answer is actually fairly straightforward. I want to always have a clear clear cut goal to work towards. So you see, after reflecting on my past failures at game creation, I realized that one of my biggest downfalls was trying to take on everything in one go. I didn't break the work down and focus on implementing core features one at a time and implementing them well enough that they would not likely need to be touched again in the future. So after a bit of thinking, I ended up with a backlog of items that currently looks like this. Now, while this list is large, it is by no means complete. I intend to be gradually adding and removing items from it as my ideas develop and mature over time. This is just what I've managed to come up with for now. So as you can see over here, I've gone ahead and created three sprints. I've decided to use the names of various gods from my sprint name and convention, more specifically my favorite gods from the game Smite, as this was a game that I've played for many, many years. Now, all of these sprints, they are currently empty, but are active from Monday to Friday over the next three weeks, respectively. What I've plan to do is take my backlog and order it into a set of sprints that I will aim to finish each week. In other words, from here on out, expect to see actual game development instead of all of this talking and planning nonsense. For now, I will take what I've got here and attempt to strip out everything that I think I can and should achieve between now and next week into my first sprint, the on horse sprint. I think it's reasonable to assume that I can get the empty game object created in Unity for the player but who knows. <laughs> I should also be able to come up with a decent first draft at some player graphics. The same can probably be said for the first enemy, which will be a melee enemy. I can create the empty game object and just get some rough graphics in there to represent it. Next, player movement. This should be fairly straightforward since it's a 2D game. I simply want to be able to move the player in the vertical, horizontal, and diagonal directions. Melee enemy AI is gonna be a bit basic for now. Simply get a target, move towards it, and trigger the combat system when in range. And speaking of combat, I reckon I can get some basic combat done by the end of the week, so let's give that a go too. And I think to top it all off, we can probably look at getting a rough draft together for the very first room of the very first level of the game. And with all of this done, I think we should have a reasonably playable little game where we can move around, but not outside of the room. The enemy follows us, we can kill it, or it can kill us. That seems to me like quite a nice goal to aim for for next week. And with that said, this video is done. If you want to follow along with my progress then make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell button so you'll be notified of my future uploads. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I will see you next week where we will actually get started on creating this game. Or you'll see me I suppose. Take care now.